Hey guys, Silence CL here. Welcome back to another Utara Macross Gacha video. So before we begin with all the Gacha stuff, let me just update a bit more information regarding the Kiawawa challenges and the VOP challenges. Uh, specifically the VOP challenges, uh, I noticed that I kind of left that information out because uh, like I said in the previous video, I wasn't feeling too well, I wasn't able to focus. So now that I am feeling better, let's take a look at it again and let me rectify one particular thing because um, I think a lot of you might have some issues regarding it as well. So like I said, specifically the VOP challenge. So um, if you guys remember, you see some of these challenge challenges that requires you to play specific Macross series songs like I mentioned in the last video. Um, then of course there is this difficulty here that says hard and above. So if you're wondering how do you gauge a Valkyrie operation to be hard and above? Basically if you recall Uta Macross songs and their difficulty they have five different difficulty levels. Um, if you take a look here, so you have easy, normal, hard, very hard and extreme. So hard and above is the third difficulty. So for the missions or rather Valkyrie operations, um, it's pretty much the same thing. So let's dive into the VOP mode. Let me see if I have any Valkyrie operations that's currently on hand. Um, so you can take a look. So as you can tell, Valkyrie operations also have their own difficulty um, present. Um, it is of course being shown with skulls that is um, you know what we see with Reyna's uh, hacking icon. So how do you get hard and above? So like Uta Macross songs, hard and above basically is three skulls and above. So if you still have no idea how you actually um, power up the difficulty of the Valkyrie operations. Just keep playing songs, eventually they, they will increase the difficulty once you've in initiated the very first skull of a Valkyrie operation. Um, then the more songs you play of course, the more skulls will appear. So the bare minimum you need from a Macross series Valkyrie operation like we have here for Valkyrie um, operations for Freya. Um, she is of course under Macross Delta. So, if you get the difficulty to 3 skulls and you clear it, then basically once the Valkyries come back and you claim all the rewards, um, you get to clear one try of the challenge itself. So, hopefully you guys get it. So basically, all you have to do is keep sending out Valkyrie Operation teams to clear 3 skulls or more. So if you have those daily missions that are like these, um, they basically cover those challenges as well. So hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying. Once this is done, we are moving on to the gacha. So let's dive into the gacha page. Uh, so all the best for you guys and your VOP challenges. Hopefully you get the understanding of it right now. Alright, so let's talk about Reyna's brand new 6 star episode plate uh, which features her Yami Kure costume. Alright, so let's take a look at the episode plate itself. So, ooh, total score of 3,818. I think this is the highest so far of the current new generation episode plates, even beating the one before, um, which in that video, I had said it was the uh, most powerful of the current generation as well. Hmm. Okay, so Reyna's episode plate features two stats on the high level. Of course, Soul taking the highest amount voice taking the lowest quantity and of course charms gets a decent amount um since we are having two blue songs back to back <laughs> it seems mikomo's um event six uh six, six star episode play or seven star uh, whichever version you have if you're lucky enough you can fully evolve it to a seven star form is the most useful at this point of time <laughs> <laughs> so sadly to say for Makina fans, maybe the next two events uh, will actually utilize her episode plate better. Um, so yeah, anyways, pay attention to the three other divas that can use the episode plate itself. Uh, I'm pretty lucky, Ray Ray's episode plate actually covers the three girls that I actually like. <laughs> so that's fantastic. So this makes her episode plate uh, even must have for me personally. So I don't know about you guys, but if you see, maybe you guys are... Uh, Freya stands or Ranka stands and Milane stands, you might want to consider getting this episode plate. 
Alright, center skill, soul up. Units, soul is boosted by 90% up. So it's perfect for this current event, I guess. That is if this episode plate comes with a healing active skill. So let's take a look at the second page. And sadly to say, no, it doesn't. Because the current event actually makes you take a lot of damage if you miss notes. So it would have been better if this episode plate came with healing abilities, but sadly to say, no. So I guess this episode plate stays into the life support style, uh, which most 6-star episode plates are actually um, there for nowadays. Life skill, it has that brand new life skill that requires the um, Diva's affection levels. So if you have maxed it out, you will be able to get a 120% boost um, from this life skill. So that is, you know, if you have Freya, Reyna, Ranka and Milane maxed out with their affections, they will fully utilize this episode plate. So let's take a look at the last page. And sadly to say, it doesn't come with special notes attached to it. But you know, like we said in the past, um, life skills with these episode plates, I mean these episode plates with life skills, it should be the other way around. <laughs> episode plates with these life skills are new. So we shouldn't expect any special notes attached to them yet. So anyways, um, before we move on, if you're wondering, yes, the episode plate's total score without its plus 25 luck value is at 3,568. Um, so it's pretty good. Um, like I said, even looking at its total score, 3,800, that's pretty high for this current generation set of episode plates. Alright, with all of that said, like I mentioned, um, if you don't have episode plates with this life skill, um, you know, considering that we've seen a few of them released already, if you don't have any one of them, like me, I have not a single one of these new episode plates, it would be good to at least attain one now. Um, but if you are Reyna fans, Ranka fans, Milane fans, and Freya fans, no doubt about it, if you have their affection levels maxed out, like myself, this episode plate is definitely a must get, especially if you don't have an episode plate with a life skill like this. So for regular players, it is definitely no doubt about it. The new episode plate with a life skill like this, it's always good to have around just in case you need to improve your high scores among all the songs uh, currently available. So yeah, anyways, let's dive down into the pooling of the uh, gachas before the server resets. Yes, I'm recording this right at the edge of the server reset time, so let's try not to let that happen <laughs> while recording. Uh, it'll be so weird to edit. Okay, let's start with the free pool first from the main banner. Here we go, we did get a bit of a load at the early portion. Ooh, single Valkyrie. It's today, my lucky day. Hmm. Is it time for January to shine? Uh, at least we did get some- Ooh, We got costume points already! That's fantastic, so my bare minimum has been met. Okay, I'm good, let's go. Let's end the video right here. <laughs> no, no, no. We still got more to pull, so no worries. Alright, okay. So I do have my free daily template pool to do as well, so there's a lot of watch today. So let's start with the free pool. This is the evening session. Like I said, I'm recording this barely at the edge of the server reset time, so hopefully we can do this and end by then. Alright, no Valkyries, no loading. Okay, very good. Ooh, more costume points, but I've already unlocked this, so that's not too bad of a thing. I mean, good extra points. Eh, it gives you uh, episode ops for unlocking more costumes, so that's not a bad thing. Plus, I do have episode plates that's gonna expire soon, so let's do template pool from here as well. Like I said, this video has a lot to pull. Ooh, load bars. But like I said, like I said, in most of my videos, I would prefer to have my luck on the main banners itself. Uh-oh. Well, one Valkyrie. So it seems like today is a one Valkyrie day. Okay. Alright, two red boxes. So this is a very normal rate of good luck. 
I'll call this average luck. Okay. Uh, some what are a pretty rare set of plates, even though they're pretty common. Don't see them very often nowadays. Okay. No evolution, that's to be expected. A bit of Heinz love. Right, any plates evolving? Ooh! Tomato Boy. Okay. So we get the inclusion of Keith Summer. Alright, so template pool's done. And it's always nice to have a bit more love of clan as well. Hmm, I wonder what the template pool will give me today. Haven't been getting anything fantastic from the free template pools. In fact, I think these template pools are actually causing my luck to be horrible. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, ooh, what's with the load bar? Oh god. Please don't give me anything good from here. Ooh, it seems like today's trend is just one Valkyrie all the way. Please don't let that be the case for the main banner. Ooh, red boxes. Lots of them. <laughs> Even Ranka's. It's the cursed time up picture. You know, every time I see that episode play appear in my gacha pools, it's not a good thing. <laughs> Ooh, I don't see this very often. Okay. No evolution for this one as well. Oh, another pretty rare red box plate. That's not too bad. Alright, custom points. Last red box. Oh, I don't see this very regular. I think this is the first time in seeing this as well. Oh, apparently not. But apparently the Rayas plate is new. That's interesting. <laughs> Alright, so we do get a new episode plate in this set, so that's not too bad of a progress. At least there's something new. Alright, so let's do this. We have a 10 plate pool with the event gacha tickets, and of course we have uh, the discounted singing stones pool as well. I do have 500 singing stones extra. I do would like to try, um, maybe trying to attain Makina's 7 star plate again. You know, I need my Maki Ray set. Okay, so three Valkyries. Pretty average luck. Red box on the first bling. Ooh, rainbow! Not too bad. But we get the main feature plate. That's the other issue. First red box. No evolution. Mm, Goofava is not looking too happy. Okay. Lots of costume plates. Ooh, another one. Here we go. Oh! We got the featured plate! Hey, Can you bring home Makima as well? <laughs> It'd be nice to have set. <laughs> Alright. We got our featured plate. Well, technically, um, the 5 star featured plate, not the 6 star episode plate, so... Okay, that's nice. At least we got one featured plate for the month of January, and... Basara's plate evolving, so that's kind of a bonus. Alright. That's fantastic. So, yeah, the sad thing about Reyna's um, costume is that it's locked behind the gacha wall. Sadly to say, the reissuing event is giving episode plates with costume points. I No, Valkyrie points, not costume points. Valkyrie points. So that's kind of a bummer. Oh well. Uh, Dana knows, you know. Yami Kure can make money. <laughs> Alright, so do I need to pull the discounted plate? I don't think so. I've gotten a copy already, so I'm just gonna go straight to Makina's banner and hopefully we'll get something nice out of there. We can save the singing stones from the discounted pool that we initially wanted to do for other things in the future. Here we go. Oh no, that's not even a load bar. That's just horrible. Okay, three Valkyries. Oh, we, oh, we get maximum luck power. That's nice. Alright, there it is. We got a rainbow box. So if you do see the golden orb, it's a guaranteed rainbow. No evolution for it. Oh, more Ray Ray love. And it's an episode plate with a special note attachment. I'm getting a lot of love for Ray Ray. That's good in my books. Okay. So I guess we're not getting any more Makina love. Well, I could try pulling for another template for Makina's Gacha, considering that we have the discounted singing stones for Reyna's to use. 
and then, yeah, why not? Hopefully I do have enough singing stones for the rest of my desk. Three more main banners to pull, so I just need 1,200 singing stones. And each event usually gives singing stones, so let's do another pool then. <laughs> we'll end it with this one. Gotta show some love. We have to have the Maki Ray pairing. Come on home, Makina! One, two, three, four, five. Alright, almost maximum power for luck. Oh, two red boxes. Hopefully, that one, one of them evolves. Hopefully, oh, lots of Maki repairing. <laughs> wow, what is this sign? All right, solo Maki Nala. More Maki Nala. All right, is this a sign? Oh, a bit of a mirage. Here we go. Red box is gonna evolve. Will it evolve fully? Oh, it didn't. Oh. It's a very, very old episode plate of Martinez. Not the one that we want, but okay. Oh, no evolution on this one. Ooh, a rare episode plate of Reynas. That's nice. Okay. So. Oh, apparently I haven't got to evolve yet. Wow. Alright, so. We didn't get the pairing that I hoped for, but you know, it was a good attempt. Good attempt. Ah, it would have been nice, considering all those signs that we got. Three episode plates with both of them in the image. It would have been nice to end it with a Makina 6 star episode plate, but you know, oh well. Okay, anyway guys, that's it for today. Hopefully all the information today has been useful, especially regarding the VOP challenge missions. Hopefully you get the understanding of the difficulty there. Um, and of course, let me know as usual your thoughts are regarding Reina's brand new episode plate or um, you know how did you do for your own personal pools, be it Reina's banner or Mikumo's or even Makina's. Uh, you know, even if you haven't caught up with me regarding all this. So guys, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched through the entire video, you guys are awesome. Uh, of course, don't forget to leave a like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Until then, bye!